Hey y'all, welcome back to another reaction. Um, again, shit. Got Eco and Jadion did a prank on Mona Lisa. I have a challenge. So we got we prank the Mona Lisa. Challenge for all of you. Go to every computer in your house. Your mom's, your dad's, your sister, your brother's. The Mona Lisa, a fake painting in the same room, and the French police. Why is all of this happening? Well, this is a series where I've done some crazy things with America's biggest prankster, Jadion. We have both set each other four unbearable challenges to see who will follow through and who will fold. And we're doing all of this to answer the question, who is the biggest menace? Alright guys. Oh no. The Dion's the biggest menace. He went to jail twice, bro. Bro went to jail twice, bro. He's the biggest menace of society. Introduce yourselves. My name is Ringside. My name is Demarcus Cousins the third and I I ran into this British dude in the most racist town in America. We literally only walked past each other and the internet went crazy. Both yeah, that joint is crazy. Both our fan bases were arguing who was the bigger menace. And, and I'm not gonna lie, I took that personally because. <laughs> we know who the biggest menace is. It's Dion, bro. I'm the biggest menace. I then got a message from this weird guy saying that he could beat me in a menace off. And I thought to myself, what the hell is a menace off? So I looked it up and there it was. A competition where two menaces set each other terrible challenges until someone fails. The moment you fail, it's called a fold and you automatically lose. It actually sounded really interesting, but I don't lose. And I don't enjoy being, oh, this is crazy. being challenged. So I was going to start off this menace off. And I'll start it with a tale. So, let me tell you a story about a mastermind. Someone who snuck their own painting next to the most famous painting in the world, in the art gallery, the Louvre, in Paris. And the Louvre security ended up taking it down because they didn't like the fact that his painting was more handsome than the Mona Lisa, which ended up getting him arrested by the French police and banned from the Louvre for life. Here's a little secret, that mastermind was me, and I want to do it again, but legally I can't. So, I'm going to make Jid do it for me. <laughs> the face he made is funny, bro. Now if Jid was going to do it, he had to do it right. The art piece had to be perfect. So I got the exact same artist who made my previous two paintings to make it for him. I had locked roses. I'll be real, I had no intention at all in so basically he's the British Dion. Okay. taking part in this menace off. My real plan was to get Jadion on the guillotine. That way, I didn't have to bother with this series. Now you might be wondering, why have I brought you out to Paris? Well, Dion. today you're going to be getting the clapped Lisa into the Louvre. So this is you, and you have to sneak this painting next to the Mona Lisa in the same spot which I did all those months ago. Didn't this get you arrested? No, the police got called. That's only because I was staying <laughs> for the painting. Now I decided to make Jid use the exact same method to sneak his painting as I did to sneak my painting in last year. Because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Big moment, my friend. Yeah, I'm ready. Here's the painting, hidden for you. Sneak it in. And good luck. Excuse me, man. I was late for the 9 o'clock one, and I really want to see the Mona Lisa's. Is there any way I can get in this line, man? This way? Okay. We're going through security right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here we go. Are they going to get clocked with security? This is the only thing that's going to stop us. So Jid had now reached the first checkpoint, and there was no way he was going to mess it up. I mean, the plan is flawless. Right when we got to the x-ray machine, I already noticed he peeped the square shape item and Brody was trying to get me to open the bag so I kept on stalling and stalling and stalling but it was just no stopping them, they wanted to see what was in there. It was almost as if they seen this before. <laughs> oh my gosh, how did he get past this? How did he get past this? The determination in his eyes. 
I got it from the gift shop. It's a picture of him. How did he get it from the gift shop? I, I bought it from the gift shop. <laughs> it's a painted picture of him. Abort mission. Abort mission. Abort mission. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna take the L on this one. I mean, he put no creativity in it. He literally just rewatched his old video and had me recreate it. I mean, it worked for me. Jid just clearly didn't have the finesse. It's probably his bald head. Where did them out a bit? Get in. Discreetly. Shut the door, shut the door. Technically, Jid completely failed and he folded and he should lose the whole series. But you could also blame me because of my lazy planning. So, what we decided to do was do the exact same thing again a month later, but this time, my planning was very thorough. Nick told me to come to this random ass place. I don't even know where we're at. Nick is so weird. <laughs> Well, who is this dude? Are you Nico's friend? Not much of a talker. Welcome, Jade. Please, take a seat. A lot of my planning for this challenge was inspired by the French book Lupin, so it was only right to pay homage and disguise Jid as the man himself. And the plan which I had for Gideon was vivid. Each section Flawless. There was no chance it was going to fail because he was responsible for none of it. Okay, so Mr. Jid, let's go into the plan. Part one, the frame has now been separated and there's going to be three people sneaking all of these pieces in. Part two, you and Vito are going through the main entrance and our French linguist Borge is going through the back entrance just like you did last time. Part three, you guys are going to have to join a French tour. You're going to need to think of a diversion, maybe a toilet break, where all three of you will then leave at the same time. This is crazy how they all plan to get this one picture inside. And that is where the assembly of the painting will happen. And then, part five, hang up the painting. Hang it up, don't fold. How's that sound? I don't know. All I do know is, Lupin, putting that painting up on the wall. So, just like that, the Avengers were assembled. Forge, Vito, and Lupin. So oh my God, this is, a, this is a crazy squad. With all the planning wrapped, it was now time for attempt number two at sneaking in the painting. Now it's time for you to hang the clap Lisa in the Louvre. Go to the lady, make sure she can get you through security. Hello, this is my ticket. Yeah. We're both. Okay, perfect. Two. Let's go. Thank you. I'd read too many books, spent too much time planning and doing drawings for all of this to be for nothing. So Jid had to go in there and sort it out. You've got past security? Not yet. Here, I'll let you know more past security. Here we go. Okay. Now they go. This is crazy. This is like a spy movie, man. It's like Golden Eye 06. Surprisingly, the plan was actually working. He put like 5% more creativity into it. But it doesn't matter unless we get past security, so. This was the moment of truth. Huh? I buy the same products you do, only I get them much cheaper. I save hundreds of dollars a month by doing this one simple. I think his plan is going to succeed, or y'all think it's going to fail. I didn't watch the video, so my prediction is. Getting a painting past security is the hardest part. I mean, it's where he failed last time. But this time, Jid had no other choice but to get it through. Check in the bag, as we do it. I've not got clearance yet. Waiting. Waiting. Give us clearance, give us clearance. Bad news. No way. We're in. <laughs> Boy got through. Yes! They're in! Bravo, Nico. Okay. Oh my gosh, they're in. They're in. You know? So how? I can't believe that. So we actually finessed them. We finessed them. I'm gonna be honest. I was hoping that his plan failed because now all the pressure's on me. I have to get the painting up. If I don't, it's a fail. From this point, Jude, it's in your hands. I cannot sit here and lie and say I'm not nervous, but it will be done. We may have gotten in, but quickly we encountered a problem. I was losing connection to Jadil. Mm, Nico, I cannot hear you. Can you not hear me? Nico. Hello? 
Okay, I can't get through to Jid, which means we are out of this infiltration. The question is now, will Jid be able to follow our plan? Stop the video! Before Jid tries to follow this plan, I need you to follow another plan much more important. The plan to like this video! Right now and subscribe to my channel. These menace videos are gonna keep coming out and you don't wanna miss them, so subscribe right this second and don't you dare not press that like button. Alright, back to the loop. I'm not gonna lie, the Louvre is a beautiful place. I was mesmerized by all the art. But I came for one reason and one reason only. So it's time to commence operation number two. That's where we gotta put our pin in, y'all. Right there. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda have to use the restroom. Can I walk over there? Yes. I'm gonna go drop a dookie, but I'll be right back. Then you just need to come back, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, Vito's in the distractor. Me and Borge, we're just gonna do it. You gotta change the game plan up a little bit. The moment I walked into that bathroom, I, I just couldn't believe what I saw. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous. This man, Nico, spent more time making his doodles than he did actually making sure that the bathroom had three stalls. There wasn't even two, there was only one. Okay, so I've just heard from them. They're in the bathroom, but there's only one cubicle. Um, guys, it's so hot in here. In an operation where we're supposed to be under the radar, two guys, one stall, throwing one around, we got caught, only one thing comes to mind. That's gay. Mm. <laughs> Over. Then I start getting texts from Vito saying that the tour ladies wondering what's taking us so long. He did say he had to use his bathroom, but I don't know. Yes. Bad enough that me and Borge entered into the bathroom stall. Now we got someone waiting for us outside, banging on the door, asking us to hurry up. It was about to get a lot harder. Let me just wipe. Hello, my friend. I've already set the blow general somewhere else. Oh my gosh, that was so stressful. But the main objective is to get the clap lease up, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. I maneuvered my way around the steps. My heart, it was pacing, but my painting, it was ready to be hung next to the Mona Lisa. Was I gonna be hanging right next to history to the end of time, or is it gonna fold? Job was done. This is the clap least beautiful, isn't it? You like it? I love it. It's beautiful. What's the Mona Lisa? Exactly. What's the Mona Lisa? It's the clap Lisa. Even though I completed the mission, I, I was feeling myself. I wanted everybody to see what I just did. My man, you're gonna have to pay me five pounds for that. <laughs> Why? That's my work. No, it's not. No I way. made that. No way. <laughs> Let's go, Jadia. That's the clap Lisa. The clap Lisa. <laughs> We've hung it. Oh Mission accomplished. They've done it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's done it. He's hung it up in the loo. Can you believe it? No, I cannot believe it. It's crazy. Okay. I can't believe it. As you can see, they really got a detail in the lazy eye right here. The smile, although may look constipated, is also just showing the relative beauty of life. Oh, alarm? Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Oh uh, no, that's my uh, great 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 <laughs> grandfather, the Marcus Tubman. We had trolled the Louvre not once but twice, and no one was in that room for the Mona Lisa. They were all there for the clapped kid standing in front of the clapped Lisa. Bond always gets the job done. Everybody in the room was in awe of the painting. Even our tour guide was almost brought to tears at the first sight of it. Can I ask you about this one? Uh, actually, they just put it in there, you know. They just put that one up? Yeah. Where'd it come from? So Italy, Italy but it oh. was not, it was not on display. It was on display. So they must have just those, put it up. Exactly. It's one of those, you know, wise men that you can actually... <laughs> Finds the shepherd, to the followers, not an apostle, but the followers. Oh, he's a follower. in a museum, bro. I know he's exactly because he copied Nico. Because <laughs> Nico did this first. Jid should have just left and taken his W, but instead, he did what he's best known for. He trolled to the max. Yo, everybody over here, no. come look at this. No way. 
This is crazy. This is awesome. This is my favorite picture. The whole day. I knew the longer I stayed in the Louvre, the more problems there were to come, but I just needed more eyes set on her. Him. Her slash him. The thing that got me in trouble when I got arrested at the Louvre was wanting to keep the painting. So what I wanted more than anything else was Jid to just leave the painting there and walk out. But no. No, this man don't follow any rules. He don't learn from anyone else's mistakes. He needs to make them himself. That's art. Go push it. J'appelle l'intervention. I call the intervention. You move out of the room. No. I want to take a picture. Rien à voir. Circuler. Keep it here. Oh. I didn't give a damn what that security guard said. I'm not gonna go back home on an 11-hour flight without that masterpiece. So, I snatched it from the wall. You're on a carnival cruise at Amber Cove. Three generations of Clifton standing hand in hand, ready to put. Dang, bro. It's like, come on now. I work so hard. Like, take it. I hit the dash. <laughs> Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> I knew the end was near. They were closing in on us. So instead of all of us going down, I set my accomplices off. You go. Leave. 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 I stayed and took the brunt of everything because the captain always goes down with his ship. But you're calling the police now. <laughs> then I got a call from Vito, and it wasn't good news at all. Okay, they 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 got him. No. They yeah they put him in they put him in this room. No. Bro, he we should. Just, I do see police right here. I just see him coming down the escalator right now. Wait, wait, Vito, come, come, come back, come back. We didn't get this part on camera, but I fought off all the security. But then they sent up the big guns. Bro, they're on rollerblades. They're on rollerblades. Rollerbladed spec op officers. I couldn't take them all on. They apprehended me and took me in for questioning. Luckily, Borge and Vito made it out alive. But then, 30 minutes later, I saw four policemen on rollerblades escorting Jid. All right, well, police have come, which means it's time for me to go. <laughs> Originally, I wanted Jid to get the guillotine, but then I thought to myself, he's not that annoying. And I realized that I wanted to do whatever I could to get that man free. So they're keeping me here for 24 hours. No guarantee that I'll... Um... So either I'll be free tomorrow or I'll be free in two days. So I can be detained maximum for 48 hours. Why are they detaining you? Uh, they said I did damage. But there's no damage. Tell them we've got photograph uh, photographic e um, uh, evidence that there's no damage. What, you think I know French law? I was absolutely clueless. All I could do from there was wait until the morning. And it had been an emotional journey. From the initial failed attempt to the full elaborate plan to Borge and Jid doing madnesses in a French toilet. And then Jid getting arrested. It is crazy. If only the French police weren't on rollerblades. And that was the last time oh I saw Jid on. Nico, I literally got out the next morning. Oh, oh yeah, you did, yeah. So we're gonna have to keep this going. In reality, the next morning I made a free Jid sign to set him free. Free Jid! French police are made! Free G! Press release of me! Free G! And surprisingly it worked. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like T Grizzly. It was my first day out. My boy got freaky is free all the time. I can officially say these <laughs> are in Paris. I'll be real, I wasn't expecting Gideon to succeed, but he did. So now I guess it's my turn. Me and Shannon haven't exactly gotten along. I'm a Nase. I'm gonna knock all his teeth out. Yeah, get that Nico, you're fucked. It is finally time that they meet up, squash this once and for all. Champ Shannon the Cannon Braves, two time heavyweight champion. Oh my god. He fucked some shit up. Say sorry, champ. Yeah, I've already no, say, say right now. Say sorry, champ. Champ, 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 champ.
It's all so exciting, but I've got something more exciting. Me and Jid are giving away a custom signed PS5 to five different people who are subscribed to both of our channels and follow us both on Instagram. So like comment subscribe though that was an entertaining video man them boys are gonna make content now so yeah i'm gonna see you in the next video yeah boys later Oh, the fun reaction. Oh, shit.